Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we're going to be surviving a total of 100 hours on my totally free-to-play account. And oh my gosh, I'm not looking forward to doing this. Now, the only reason we are doing this is because you guys absolutely crush it with the support on the 24-hour video. And so we're picking up where we left off, surviving a total of 100 hours on our completely free-to-play account, having spent zero Robux, owning zero game passes, and having purchased zero additional pet equips or anything like that in arm wrestling simulator to show you guys that even with no robux spent you can still get pretty far within the game now we made it to world six within 24 hours but because we went really crazy with the super rebirth we're all the way back here in world three but i have an ultimate goal to get all the way to world seven by the end of the 100 hours and one of the first strategies i'm going to use is something that i use on my main account and that is employing the enchantment of best friend five to our advantage to help create a really strong pet team because our current pet team we only have three pet equips and i will be working on that later on in the video to hopefully get up to five pet equip but currently we have a 700,000, a 120,000, and a 1.6 million multiplier pet for a combined stat team of around 2.5 million which just really isn't great so instead of trying to get three really amazing pets we can focus on just getting this one pet right here the baby galaxy alien leveled up and upgraded to become our best pet and then we can get a ton of best friend fives because if we can get a bunch of these best friend fives then they'll be 75 percent as strong as our best pet which if we can get this up to around 2 million then we'll be absolutely cooking so that's our current game plan but in order for that to happen i want to get this galaxy alien over over 2 million total stat and so in order for that to happen we need to get back to the bunker and that means we got to beat this kraken boss a bunch of times so i'm going to go back to training our strength and since i'm going to take advantage of all of my free-to-play resources i'm going to be joining up one of my friend servers with all of my alt accounts on it to give me a plus 105 percent friends boost that you guys can see down here in the bottom left hand corner and you guys can get these boosts completely for free by either just adding people and servers or by joining discords and squatting up with different players that way but yeah as far as arms go and as far as rebirths go we've basically done as much as we can we really just need to focus on getting better pets and i've always recommended these event eggs are a great way for free to play players to advance within the game so i'm gonna listen to my own advice get this galaxy alien leveled up and then we'll see how many of these thunder colossus eggs we'll be able to get after about 12 hours of afk all right we have more than enough strength to go ahead and beat the kraken boss so let's see how many times we have to defeat him to get the strength we need or to get the wins we need oh that's so many that's like 400 times i think we're gonna be here so long well i mean luckily we have 76 hours but i didn't want to spend this long just getting back to world four. Oh man well uh yeah i'll see you guys when we have five trillion wins and all right with 5.4 trillion wins we can skedaddle our way out of the beat and into the bunker but not to escape the bunker but to use this mutate machine right here and that is so we can mutate this galaxy alien to hopefully get something pretty pretty crazy the glow oh my god oh the ghost the ghost would be the best thing we could get wait we have 116 cures oh my gosh so we're basically guaranteed to get a ghost version of this that's insane but since it happens to be one in the morning i think we're gonna save my grind until we wake up and instead i'm gonna use my 10 or so hours of sleep to go ahead and grind up hopefully a few thousand of these thunder colossus eggs because with a one in 1000 odds of these leviathan pets we really only need about five thousand of these these eggs in order to get five of these pets and in the morning i can also get some luck enchanted pet to give us an even better odds of getting these best run five pets from the eggs let's make sure the ripper doc when we defeat him we do get an event egg so that way we don't afk for 10 hours and get nothing okay yep we do get one event egg so now we're gonna sit here for one, once again about 10 hours and hopefully we wake up to i'm hoping around 5,000 eggs on the low end 3,000 will be awesome 5,000 will be amazing and anything above that will be a cherry on top so yeah i'll catch you guys in the morning. 10 hours later. All right. Good morning, gamers. Well, I guess it's been two seconds for you, but 10 hours for me. But we have 5,852 eggs. Very nice. So a bare minimum, mathematically speaking, we should be getting around five lightning leviathans, but I want to make my odds a little bit better. So I think I'm going to enchant at least a few pets over here. And that means we're going to need to rebirth a little bit more. And ah, perfect. Lucky three. Just waiting to be enchanted. And so we're not going to be able to get a very, very big increase on our 
our luck. But when we're opening, you know, 5,000 eggs, even if something as small as, what is this going to be? A nice little 7%, an extra 7%, so 14%, and then 12%, so 26% luck increase. Instead of 1 in 1,000, these are like 1 in 700. So now we should almost be guaranteed to get like 7 or 8 of these best friend 5s. And so when we end up getting more pet equips, we'll already have the extra best friend 5 in our account. So this is perfect. Okay, and you know what? We're gonna I'm going to try to get all lucky 3 pets instead of just lucky 2s. So give me a second for some reason that took way 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 longer than it should have but we should now have a full team of lucky three pets which will give us a 30 percent luck increase when opening up these 5,000 eggs and of course we don't want any of these worse eggs i mean listen if we're able to get the one in 25,000, which honestly there's kind of a small chance like there's i mean it's one in 25,000. we have 6,000 eggs and with a 36 percent luck chance i mean we have a you know 30 40 percent chance of getting that and with a guaranteed best friend six, that'd be absolutely insanity. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself because we have to open these eggs one by one. And you can see just how slow these eggs open. And I just did a little test. We can open around 24 eggs every minute, which means it's going to take us four hours to open these eggs oh my god that's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be but hey spending 10 hours to grind up 6,000 eggs and four hours to grind opening these eggs that's not terrible because we will be rewarded hopefully with at least like five of these lightning leviathans maybe one of these bold phoenixes and then with the remaining 60 hours we can hopefully get to world seven so again i'll see you guys in about four hours well gamers just four hours later we have zero Zero event eggs, which means they've all been open, and I'm dying to see the results. And well, since time is money in this game, let's see what we got. Oh, we have a ton of best friends fives. Oh my gosh. It doesn't look like we got any of the Volt Phoenixes. I'll double check. No, we just got eight of the Lightning Leviathan, though. So it's eight best friend five, which means that if we make a new best strength team with our Rainbow Galaxy Alien, and then a bunch of these best friend fives, I think now our strength team is somewhere, yeah, right around like. 4.5 million where it used to be around 3 million or no around like 2.5 million so a huge 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 jump up in uh, in strength and again the stronger we can get our best pet the stronger our overall team becomes but something i want to see is how close are we to getting our next pet equip because when you find 50 pets in this game you unlock your next pet equip and so oh we're so close we found 43 of 419 pets so we just need to find a few more pets and then we will be on our way to getting our fourth pet equip which means we can use another best friend five which is another like 1.5 million total stats that'll be added to our team which will be a huge huge help and so i think we know what we're gonna be doing next and that's opening up a ton of eggs well gamers this is a little awkward i had some things come up to where that meant i couldn't play on this account for about a week and a half and all of a sudden bam the christmas event is here and that means that all of the grinding i did for these lightning leviathan these best friend fives it kind of doesn't mean anything because as you guys guys know if we go to the christmas event well they are just practically handing out best friend fives best friend sixes best friend seven best friend eight for candy coins and so i genuinely think we can absolutely destroy our wrestling simulator free to play with 60 hours remaining because of this update now we're definitely going to be needing some candy thief pets and the easiest way for us to obtain these as you guys know of course is beating the santa boss and what are the odds it's actually 5% for Kenny Thief 3. Oh, it's actually not even that terrible. I think we'll just AFK this boss for, um, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Come back, see what we can get, and then see how long it takes for us to buy our first pet. Or see how long it takes for us to grind up to get 10,000 candy or so. I'm also really curious uh, for the calendar. 50 candy coins, 250, 500 candy, 1,000, another 1,000, another 1,000, 100 wheel spins, 100 wheel spins, 10. Oh, the arms, the Christmas crate. We can get a crazy arm. Wait, one crate for 10 coins. Oh my gosh, we're about to get some crazy freaking... Oh wait, oh no, that's actually pretty mid-arm. What's our current arm? Wait, our current arm is 750% buff chrome. Are you kidding me? Wait a second, I thought I was on to something. We also do get plus two pet equips and plus three pet equips. And we also do have some 24-hour 3x boost, but I'm gonna save these for when I'm actually grinding my strength. But let's use all these wheel spins. Let's just spin all. I don't have all day. We got a few more Christmas keys. 
these. Let's use all. And we didn't actually get anything out of it. Sick. So yeah, let's go get ourselves a hundred of these eggs and uh, see you guys in a second. All right, I realize a hundred might be a little excessive because we only have like four. Wait, how many pedicles do we have? Wait, we have eight pedicles? Oh my God, I forgot because the pass. Let's go. Like, I'm still really curious though. What are we going to get from these 60 eggs? All right, well, it looks like we were able to get a full team of Candy Thief 2 pets. And each of these gives an 8% multiplier. So about a 60% overall increase, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, no, just kidding. This is like a 260% increase. Whoa, I'll, I'll take that. Don't mind me. All right, so let's go see. What is the cheapest... Pet. So this right here, I'm guessing, is a best friend six. It is 10.7k candy. Just for research purposes, I want to see how one, what's the multiplier on it? Because what is what is my best pet? If we just equip best, it's my 2.1 million galaxy alien. But there's actually a chance this slay is four million. This candy cane's three million. So that'll be my new best pet. We might just be able to keep buying these pets over here and we could turn them to golden and then void and then all the other works. And then because we have so many extra slots, oh my gosh, dude, we just need to farm candy. Literally, my problem now is over the next 60 hours, how much candy can I get? That is my big, big question. And the good thing is we can AFK on this account and I might spend the night AFKing and fighting bosses, but I'm gonna time myself to see how long did it take to get 5,000 candy just beating up these snowmen. So I'll be back in a second. Oh, we finally got 10,700 candy. Wait, earn more. What? How much do I need? What about now? There we go. Now we have 11 candy, but we have a new best bet. And for our strength team with the candy cane, I mean, this is a best friend six, but with all of our best friend fives, how many best friend fives do we have? Oh, perfect. We're now up to an 18 million total of that team. So let's go see how fast we can get this strength up. And I'm, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. Definitely a huge improvement. And we can also unequip all. Just equip this fella. Feed him just a few godly bones, a few mushrooms. And now it's got a 3.3 million multiplier, which gives us another 10% extra boost in strength. I can't recall. Do I have access to the bunker? Oh, we do have access to the bunker. Oh, let's just go mutate it while we're at it what am i doing imagine ghosts ah well at least get a rainbow it's the least we can do all right rainbow it is and it is now a 4.4 million multiplier which means i think our team is almost 30 million total strength we're getting like one qa every time we curl this barbell Jeez, Wait, can we escape the bunker? Oh, no. Okay. Listen, I I have a good feeling about this. At least with the way things are going, I don't know if we're going to have to do a whole lot more super rebirthing. Maybe, maybe regular rebirthing. Yes. But super rebirthing? I don't know. Because I think maybe at night what I do is I put on my candy thief team. Because when I put on my candy thief team, then I'll get more candy when I'm beating these bosses. As you can see, boom, six candy coins. I mean, it's, it's not a a lot of candy oh wait i can also get more winter pets oh no wait there's winter winter two in here it's not great and these buccaneer bubbles are only winter winter three but still with eight pet equips that's huge oh see dude i just need more of these event eggs i need to get these winter winter twos again i deleted a ton i don't know why i did that all right and after a few minutes here we can chuck on our winter winter team beat the mutant king how many times do we actually have to beat him oh dude we are struggling what the heck Oh, we have to beat him so many times. No, like a hundred times. All right, so I had run a few errands, but I decided to AFK the Santa boss for a little while. And we got 2,000 eggs, but more importantly, 25,000 candy. So what can that get us? Oh my gosh, a 5 million frosty penguin. Yes, sir. And enough candy to purchase another best friend six. It's a best friend seven. Oh, it doesn't even matter because it's our best pet. Dang it. So what's our team look like now? Bro, it just keeps getting more and more stacked. And same thing. We can level this guy up. We can easily get him to like seven or eight million multiplier. And then we're looking at like a like 50 million strength stat team. Jeez. All I gotta do is figure out when the heck I'm gonna open 
open all these eggs. But let's see, get ourselves just, just getting to get a little bit of rainbow frosty penguin action going on. 6.7 million. We've got a lot of mushrooms. We can also chuck on a few of those, level it up a little bit. You guys know the drill at this point. Gets it up to 7.1 million. And we're now getting about 8 QA per curl, which is honestly pretty solid. Considering we can absolutely smoke the mutant king now. Oh, but I forgot. When a winner team, and for some reason, I have like a bajillion double wins potions. Don't even know where those came from. Maybe some gifts or passes. I don't know. I'm chucking it on. We're getting one QI wins every single time. We're going to be back in World 5 in no time. All right, 50, ah, 40, 50 hours in. I'm losing my brain. 44 hours in, make our way back to the bunker, which I would like to add, we've already made our way to the bunker before. So we're just back here in familiar territory. But let's see, Can, should we rebirth? Oh, nine billion wins? Yeah, we're gonna rebirth. Actually, let's see, for trails, four QI. Yeah, let's get the 20 QI trail. Rebirth, let's spend a few more wins. We can get up to around 20, ah, you know what, 2,400. That sounds about good. And we're now getting 400 trillion per curl. About 13 QI every single time we curl this barbell, which again is really solid. And hey, we have some more Christmas crates. Don't mind if I do. And uh, hey, we don't get anything good. We can open our platinum crate key. Oh, wait, buff radiant. That could actually be pretty good. But I'll save that for later. Because in just a few more minutes, we should have enough strength to start AFKing the final boss mammoth. And I want to see how many times are we going to have to beat him to move on to the sixth world. Because my goal is by the end of the 100 hours, as you guys know, I want to at least beat a few bosses in world seven. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do that. All right. Let's see, we get, oh no, dude. We have to beat the man with 500 times. How long is this gonna take? This might take, dude, this is gonna take so long. Oh no, man. Dude, I'm sitting here wondering, do I super rebirth again? Do I super rebirth grind? Because we only have 11 super rebirths. And like the pet equips, yeah, are helpful. But what's more helpful is like, oh, dude. Now that we have the winner winner team and the strength team, we might actually be able to super rebirth a whole lot faster. Oh, dude, it might be worth it because these super rebirths, is it still 100%? Okay, it's 80%, which is still really 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 helpful because rebirthing at these later stages like doesn't really do anything dude i think i have to i think if i want a chance at beating some of these world seven bosses i think i have to do it oh like even if i get some of these baller pets and like even if i get these pets up to like 10 20 million multiplier I just don't know if it'll be enough. I'm worried. All right, listen, I'll do it, but you gotta give me a second. So for the next hour, while I get some stuff done, we're gonna AFK some more Santa eggs because I need some more Kenny 33 pets or at least the chance of getting some. Wait, actually, do I even need to AFK any of these? Wait, actually, I might just spend the next hour opening these eggs because it'll take a really long time. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna spend the next hour just opening these eggs to get all these Kenny 33 pets and then we'll grind some super rebirths. All right, a few hours later, what do we get? Gets a whole lot of mistletoe mischief. Oh my gosh. Now we can go ahead and save nine of these for luck, but we, what we really want is to save nine of these for the candy because these would be candy thief threes, which would be really big. And then because our inventory is looking insanely whack, we can just go ahead and clear up the rest of it. And there we go, a full Kenny Thief 3 team. And what I've actually decided to do is rather than grind Super Rebirths right now, it might actually make sense since we only have a limited amount of time in this challenge. I mean, it doesn't really matter who I AFK. So I guess I can just go ahead and AFK the Santa boss again because I, I beat him the fastest. But really what I want to do is basically just AFK so that I can get a ton of candy coins overnight because I think with this every hour, hopefully I can get around 10 or 15,000 candy coins, which I know doesn't seem like a lot, but if I can wake up and have enough candy to 
purchase a full inventory of best friend six and best friend seven pets that would help out so 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 much when it comes to the grind tomorrow morning and so i think that's just the game plan do this for like eight or ten hours come back grind super rebirth for a few hours and then make the final push to world seven i think that sounds doable well our little master plan ended up working and a solid 7,000 boss defeats later we have 110,000 candy coins which that's a lot of best friend pets i have no clue what's in the santa merchant though and that uh it's not even really loaded okay here we are i mean i really just want cheap pets i don't even want a chance at best friend eight. Oh my god another frosty penguin perfect we could honestly start combining these into a big version i don't even know if i want a snowy owl because i really just want a bunch of these cheap ones and maybe if i if i back out and leave does that just give me a chance at getting a different santa merchant all together santa market all together oh it does sick because i think if i just try to purchase it it says oh wait no it we can just keep purchasing them. Never mind. Dang it, dude. I could have just bought a ton of frosty penguins. No. Okay, well, oh, do we craft it into a big? I don't even think so because they're all best friend sevens, which means if we remove this strength team and then make this brand new one, let's do a little bit of math. I think we're sitting at right around a 65 million multiplier for our total stat team. But again, if we could get a really good, just like Frosty Penguin or one really good pet, then our team could become really insane. But I'm not really sure how to do that. I could, I mean, I could craft this into a big ooh, or i could combine these four into a golden i might actually do that because i can always come back and get more of these i mean i have a best friend five let me do a little bit of math real quick all right here is the game plan we now have enough candy to buy one more of these frosty penguins we can head to the second gym, the space gym, where there is the golden machine. We can chuck in five of these regular frosty piggins. We will get a golden one, a guaranteed golden one. So now this will have a 7.5 million multiplier, but we are not done there because with a golden pep, you can head to the beach area and then you can head and chuck it in this void machine and after five hours you can come and claim this and it will be a 10 million multiplier pet now once we have this 10 million multiplier pet we will head to the bunker and we will chuck it in the mutate machine most likely trying to just get the rainbow if we get the ghost that would be crazy because it'd be a 20 million multiplier pet and then we can use our snacks to level it up getting it to anywhere from a 15 to 25 million multiplier and then with our best friend six and best friend seven enchanted pets we can get a team probably around 150 to 200 million total stats which will probably be the team that we use for the rest of the challenge now because we only have less than 40 hours left in the challenge we can go ahead and actually go to the pass and claim 48 hours worth of 3x boost and now let's go ahead and see when we train with our strength team what are we getting i actually have no clue how far did we get did we get to world six nope we did not oh our trail sucks though oh, wait no it doesn't it's actually a pretty decent trail there we go there's a little bit of a boost though and we'll chuck on a few more rebirths and we're getting about 12 qa every time we curl the bar so we really don't have much to do over the next few hours while we wait for our really insane pet to be done getting out of the void machine we're gonna get back up to around two or three qi strength so that way we can afk the mammoth and get back to world six because again i think i'm done so super rebirthing oh wait no i was going to start super rebirthing oh i woke up and i forgot oh my god what am i doing i went to bed and i completely forgot about that okay well um uh, let me go grind out some super rebirths and uh, act like none of that just happened be right back all right 18 rebirths I think that's a solid like 500% increase. Just gonna see where that puts us. Gonna grind back up to world five and then AFK the boss up so we can get to world six. And then hopefully by then our pet will be done so we can AFK strength in world six. And then we might be on to world seven and beating bosses in world seven soon. Who knows? Five hours later. Well, in the five hours it took for us to wait for my pet to turn into a void, we absolutely crushed it getting 1.7 SX strength. But now it's time to really kick things up a notch. But 
by claiming my frosty penguin. Thank you very much. And so by just replacing this, we go from 300 million, not 300 million, 300 trillion to 465 trillion. But now I'm gonna see if we can't get this ghost. We have around 100 cures we could do. So let me see if we can't grind this out real quick. Let's go, we got it. That was only like 10 or 15 mutates as well. Our baby ghost frosty penguin now has a 20 million multiplier. And if we unquip all and just equip this, we can use up all of our snacks to see how high of a level we can get this thing to. All right, well, we've already got up to level 59, which is up to a 25 million multiplier. And so let's go ahead and make a brand new strength team with a bunch of best friend sixes. Oh, we're actually having to throw some best friend fives on there because we had to use some best friend sevens. Uh-oh. But I still think this pet team is close to like 150 or 200 million total stats, which is way better than where we started at the beginning of this challenge. I've gone ahead and joined up a server with a 105% friends boost. And again, we still have our 3x stat boost and we're getting 2.3 QA every single time we use the hand grippers. And all that's left for us to do is kind of just wait for us to get 3SX strength because that should be enough for us to beat the cybernetic boss over here, which will then let us go to the void. And then when we're in the void, we can hopefully turn this into a purple or red slime frosty penguin, which will then let us get this into the 30 or 40 million multiplier range or maybe even 50 million multiplier range. And then of course we could turn this into a full best friend six, best friend seven team, hopefully getting it around 300 to 400 million total multiplier. Once again, all without spending a single dime on the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours when we have enough strength to beat the cybernetic boss. 2,000 years later. It took a little longer than planned because I like to be a little safe on these free-to-play accounts when it comes to getting strength, but 7SX strength is playing it super, super safe, and we should have way more than enough strength to beat Cybernetic. There we have it, 15 SP wins. Wait, how do we have 27 SP wins or 27 O wins? Is that from Lucky Blocks? Must be from Lucky Blocks. But we, as a free-to-play account, 66 hours in, can move on to World 7, and that is kind of insane without spending a single dime on the game without owning any game passes without purchasing anything within the store we have reached the final world with an arm wrestling simulator and we still have a few hours to spare so we're gonna see how far we can push things we're obviously not gonna be able to beat dr propulsion that wasn't really the goal of the video the goal was to just get here oh and wait because this isn't a goliath we can't convert it to a slime no so this frost penguin is the best we're gonna be able to get it so if we want to be able to get more strength we're actually gonna have to afk boss for a little while and so i think we're gonna need to afk the santa boss for a few hours with our candy thief three team in order to get enough candy to purchase some best friend seven pets and then for the remaining time i think we're just gonna afk and uh see how much total strength we can get eight hours later well a bunch of hours later i would say a success we have a ton of event eggs which we aren't going to be opening but more importantly we have a ton of candy which let's see what the merchant has to offer oh perfect best friend seven frosty penguin okay so what is our team currently oh wait we need like a full three four we basically have to spend all of our candy on four of these guys actually but just get a fifth one because why not and then also with the new advent calendar out we can get more spins and more hours of triple x boost so let's go ahead and spin this wheel which we just get candy coins actually we can get some more arms getting a better arm would be super super clutch right about now oh shoot can we actually get a better arm i kind of forgot that was a possibility but let's see 60 percent chance let's go new arm as well 1200 percent went out to 8 sx strength what about our trails 28 oh holy crap we can also make a huge jump with our trails 9sx strength let's freaking get it and then with our strength team as well it'll be full to the brim with the best friend sevens oh wait just kidding i'm i'm one best friend seven short well that's like 10 20 million stat difference that's really not that big of a deal all right let's see with no boost oh wait we can't even get this yet oh shoot it's because i spent all my strength training up my hands i need to get 
got our biceps holy well pretty much for the next 24 hours all we have left to do is just get a bunch of strength so uh yeah because we have all the pet equips we have the best pet we can get we can't slime it it's already ghost we have oh wait what we got a bunch of snacks where do we get these from i mean yeah i'll go level it up really quick all right we got a solid extra 20 or so levels giving us an extra 3 million multiplier boost which didn't really do a whole lot for us but again as a free to play player it's it's the small things that count and with us having one of the best arms we could probably possibly get oh no dude could we oh could we rebirth oh shoot we'd probably only get like 10 percent i think it'd be worth it right right oh this is so tough because if i do it now it's either now or never i at least just want to beat this one boss over here in world seven i got to world seven which is cool but i at least want to beat just one boss here oh dang man okay i'm gonna make the executive decision to not rebirth because i think even with our 19 0 wins we'd probably only be able to get like a 33 or 3400 percent boost which i don't know if that would help us out a ton so we're gonna go afk for 24 hours and we're gonna check back in when there's 10 hours left to see if there's a chance if we can actually defeat mr rocket rider well gamers it looks like we might actually do it with 10 hours left to go and the fact that we have finally unlocked the best way to train strength within the game we have 41.3 sx strength which is almost enough to beat the rocket rider and we unfortunately can't afford a better trail just yet but wait have i put in any codes yet because we might be able to be chilling oh let's go how many codes can i put in five percent set with the 45 sx strength we're up to 55 as like strength. Wait, can we beat him yet? Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be a close fight. We probably. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna squeeze it out. We're gonna squeeze out a win. No way. Let's go. Shout out the codes. Oh my gosh. Okay, now there is zero percent chance we're gonna get 172 as like strength. But let's just uh, keep on entering in the codes and see what all we can get. Wow, we got all the way up to 84 points. We just doubled our strength just from entering in codes that we hadn't entered yet. Oh my gosh, that's actually quite insane. Now, it doesn't change the amount of strength we get, but it does give us a total stat boost. So very, very, very helpful. And now we can beat the Rocket Rider even faster. But uh, yeah, over the next eight hours or so, all we have left to do is just train up more strength, see how much total strength we can get. But I don't think it's gonna be enough to beat the Missile Maven because right now, he probably absolutely smokes us yeah we're actually we're not getting destroyed but we're definitely losing but i'll see you guys when the 100 hours is up well gamers we did it 99 hours later we have reached 119 sx strength and we can go and chuck on i guess our winner winner team and can we fight the missile maven how much strength does he have oh yeah that's a guaranteed l there's no way but we can beat the rocket rider guaranteed safe and sound we made it to world 7 be one of the bosses and oh that feels so freaking good so i mean i guess that confirms it you can can be free to play with an arm wrestling simulator and be successful i will say world 7 is where you're going to encounter like 99 percent of the grind but you can do it and i also will say that yes this christmas event did help out a ton but again i didn't spend a single dime on this game to get where i got to today and if i kept on grinding if we kept on pushing i definitely think we could keep on progressing maybe not to beat dr propulsion but to at least get like one sp strength and beat the layer guardian or something like that but there you have it 100 hours survived this free to play an arm wrestling simulator if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one doses